Hey, BG fans, we're here with Coach Adam Shire. Uh, Adam's got three young men uh, he's going to chat about uh, that have uh, committed to BGSU to play football. Uh, Fawn Cooper, offensive lineman, 6'5", 300 pounds out of Crystal Lake, Illinois. He's got a big couple of big boys coming in, uh, at least with him and uh, some yeah. of our offensive linemen that Coach Dirk and I chatted about a little bit ago. But talk about Fawn a little bit, Coach, if you would. Fawn is, well, first of all, he's, he's a large man. He's all 6'5", 300, and you know, he's a, a young man that I, I met last May, and uh, we got him out in the uh, summertime for camp, spent some quality time with him and his family. Uh, great people, kind of flew under the radar a little bit, was a, was a defensive lineman as a junior, transitioned over to the offensive line this year. Uh, Coach Durkin and our staff worked him out uh, both at our camp and then again at the Ohio State camp a couple weeks later. And, just tremendous upside. He was, uh, prior to my meeting, I think uh, he wasn't sure whether he was going to play college football and uh, was a basketball player growing up. Always thought he would be maybe a college basketball player. So he's he's got great feet. Uh, he's got a little nastiness to him. And, and the size is is, uh, is ready made. That's the point I was just going to make if he's going to be a basketball player. He's probably got pretty good feet, you know, moving around wise. I think it's important to, to be successful at this level, especially that size, 6'5, 300. Obviously, Coach Horgan will you know, mold and, and rearrange some of that weight and put some more muscle on, but, you know, footwork, it, it's hard to teach that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something that stood out in our camp. Uh, hadn't played online before, and Coach Durkin was going through the drills and uh, certainly had the feet Excellent. to be able to pass protect. How about Zach Colvin, D end, a 6'4", 260. So he's got some weight already on his on his bones as a defensive end. He's from Shorewood, Illinois. Talk about Zach a little bit. Well, Zach's a, a great young man. Um, did a great recruiting process with him. It was a, it was a battle. Um, and like you said, he's got some size, and I think he's a guy that can, can, can line up on that tight end and, and really be a physical presence at the defensive end position. He, he's, you look at his lower body, he is, he's thick. Uh, three sport athletes, so he's got some athleticism to him. Is he able to play at not just the five technique on, on the tight end or on the tackle? Can he move down to the three technique as well? Or do you see him staying at the defensive end? Or, you know, maybe I think we see him as a defensive okay, end. Gotcha. That's, uh, that's more for Coach Elko and that's the <laughs> defensive staff. But, uh, no, no question. And the one I'm most excited about, and this is tough for me as an offensive lineman, to talk about a kicker. But we've got Tyler Tate coming in from Carroll, Ohio. Tyler's a 6'1", 185, but I've seen some film on him. He looks like a pretty good athlete. I think he's he does more than just kick for, for his team or receiver. I think he's play uh, free safety or DB as well. Yes. So um, so talk about Tyler a little bit and, and you know some of the accolades that he has and potential he has. Uh, I mean, Tyler, it's it's the complete package. Uh, he came, first thing is the kick. He right. came to our specialist camp this past summer, and he just blew our staff away with his leg strength. Uh, his ability to kick field goals off the ground, even as a high school kid, is not required to do that. Um, I think the potential for him to come in and compete uh, and add to, uh, to our mix of kickers is, 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 is very real. The great thing about him is, as I mentioned, he is a complete package. He's an athlete. Right. Uh, he lays some hits on people, makes some catches, some runs. Uh, he's a 4-0 student valedictorian of his, of, his, of his high school class. Um, you know, he comes in with a... a Apparently, what, what appears to be the ability to do, to, to handle anything you throw at him. I mean, That's excellent. I, I calls dad during the year. And, uh, he would be leaving football practice, going to soccer practice. So there, there's not too much that you can throw in his place. So very excited to have him. He was one of our early commits, and excited to get him yeah. here. Well, as you know, kicker's always a little goofy. So I, you know, we'll get him here on campus. I'll, we'll make sure you know, we straighten him out a little bit. As, you know, his off old offensive lineman can do. But now I'm excited for Tyler to come in and be part of the family. He looks like a great young man. And I've seen some video of him you know, kicking 55, 60-yard field goals uh, on YouTube. So, it, it, again, that's exciting because, it, to me, that's some leg strength and some consistency, which is fun. So, Coach, congratulations on a good recruiting class. We're pretty excited for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You bet.